Samsung Galaxy S6 Active Hands-On Review Design Sporting that all too predictable rugged design, it's clearly within what we'd expect out of a tough smartphone. Most of the body is comprised out of tough plastic, broken down to a rubbery textured camo back pattern and a sturdier matte frame outlining the sides. Superficially, it looks almost like an exact facsimile to last year's active, but this one is a closed design so there's no removable back cover to access its battery. Accentuating its rugged form are the screws found near the corners of the phone. Thanks to its IP68 rating, it means that this bad boy is meant to handle nearly anything that everyday life has to throw at us. Therefore, that means it's shock resistant, dust proof, and water resistant up to 1.5 meters for up to 30 minutes the essential ingredients in giving it that sturdier protection than the S6. One less thing to remember, You'll be pleased to know that Samsung has improved the design, because there's no longer need to cover the micro USB port with a flap. Instead, you'll notice that the port is wide open, but there's no fear in dipping it in water because the port has been treated to be water resistant. At the same time, too, the S6 Active continues to offer some of the S6S staple features like its heart rate sensor to measure our pulse rapid charging micro USB 2.0 port, and wireless charging. Even though there's still no expandable storage with this, it gets greeted to an even heftier sized 3500 mAh battery. While the power button and volume controls are in their usual locations on the sides of the phone, there's another button found above the volume controls it's the active key. More on that later. Display. For the Galaxy S6 Active, they've outfitted it with the same 5.1-inch 1440x2560 QHD Super AMOLED panel. By now, we know that details are astoundingly sharp with such a high pixel density count, but the top-notch qualities extend to other areas. In particular, it follows the S6 with its true-to-life colors, spot-on color temperature, and sheer brilliance in all sorts of lighting conditions. They really didn't mess around with the recipe, evident by its 6521K color temperature, which is only a couple steps off that ideal reference value of 6500K. Bearing that in mind, it essentially means that the display exhibits a neutral tone neither cold nor warm. Not stopping there, it bears the quintessential qualities that are typical a mold, such as its wide viewing angles and perfect black color reproduction. Interface and functionality Diving down into the software running in the Samsung Galaxy S6 Active, there's nothing terribly different here that we haven't seen already in the S6. For one, it's running the same TouchWiz UI as its sibling on top of Android 5.0.2 Lollipop, so the visuals and secondary features remain unchanged. Say what you will, it's what we classify as being a solid all-around performer one that blends streamlined visuals with meaningful software features. It follows in touch with form by offering downloadable themes, true multitasking via multi-window, one-handed mode, and the use of various gestures. Functionally, it's incredibly diversified without having the complications and overwhelming features set that accompanied previous TouchWiz versions. Activity Zone Unique to the Galaxy S6 Active, pressing the Active button once on its side launches the Activity Zone, which is a companion app perfect for the outdoorsy type. Specifically, they include the weather, temperature, compass, stopwatch, and flashlight. Complementing it too is the barometer, which displays the elevation and pressure two things that are useful if you're in the great outdoors. And lastly, the S Health app can be paired to it as well, so we're constantly in the know about our steps progress. One-handed mode. Enabling one-handed usage has been among the main priorities for Samsung while refining TouchWiz, and we can say that the Galaxy S6 Active is a top performer in that department. Its compact size, 
mixed with sizable icons and other user interface elements, make for an experience that facilitates easy and quick usage with just one thumb. Multi-Window Power users will be pleased to know that TouchWiz staple feature of multi-window is still present and enabled from the onset, which is accessed by simply long pressing the recent apps button. Alternatively, we can also go through the recent apps menu, now arranged in Lollipop's Rolodex style, to select what two apps we want to ride side by side. Processor and Memory In keeping that momentum, this is the fastest phone yet in the series. Samsung's decision to stick in-house becomes even more apparent with the S6 Active, showing that they're no longer reliant on Qualcomm. Powered by the same chipset as the Galaxy S6, its 64-bit octa-core Exynos 7420 processor, which breaks down to four Cortex-A57 cores running at 2.1 GHz and another four Cortex-A53 cores clock in at 1.5 GHz, this phone is superbly responsive. Well, it's just the small things that show it's a powerhouse performer evident by how every action, whether it's simple or complex, is handled in such a spot-on manner. Supplementing the fine piece of silicon here is the Mali T760 GPU and a generous 3GB of RAM. Camera Photos taken by the camera are unbelievable, you'll be blown away. The camera hardware here is identical to Sami's flagship, which shouldn't be of any surprise because it produced a killer performance in all categories. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right? That means the Galaxy S6 Active is fashioned with the same 16 megapixel 1 slash 2.6 Sony IMX240 sensor with a wide f slash 1.9 aperture lens. Adding to this, the S6 Active's camera is paired with optical image stabilization, BSI, LED flash, and an infrared white balance. The camera app itself is also extremely fast to launch you can even call it up by double pressing the home button at any time, which takes less than a second to get running. The reason why the camera app is so quick to start is because it never gets cleaned up from the system memory, so it's always running in the background. Thankfully, Samsung promises that this isn't supposed to introduce any battery or performance issues, thanks to its software optimizations. Video quality Shooting video is no problem either for this active smartphone, just because the results are spot on. Not only is there a wide degree of shooting modes, such a UHD, QHD, 1080p at 60fps, 1080p at 30fps, and 720p at 120fps to name a few, but the results from each are to die for. Going with its UHD 3840x2160 capture, it's hard to fathom that there's just an incredible amount of detail captured by it making it quite useful to crop videos later on without too much loss with detail. Topping off the experience, too, is the fact that it's pretty smooth with its capture, stabilization kicks in to keep things dead, focus is snappy, and it has a decent exposure adjustment too. As for audio recording, there's a good mixture between things captured in front and behind so there's a good balance to it. Battery Being a bit thicker than the S6 might not pass for some folks, but it's justified because it's packing an even heftier sized 3500 mAh battery cell. Right away, we notice that its battery life is extended over the S6, as day-to-day -day use easily provides us with a day of use. Impressively, the Galaxy S6 Active demolishes most of the high-end phones in our battery benchmark test, showing us that it's not looking to be just average. In fact, it achieves a mark of 12 hours and 9 minutes. Enter the Samsung Galaxy S6 Active, which, despite its clunky or looking design, makes some notable improvements to toughen the decision for consumers looking to pick up the S6. Indeed, its water and shock resistance gives it a more durable feel than the fragile S6, 
but the design is probably what most people will have to overcome and deal with if they're out to find those features. Some things have stayed, others have been removed, but the Galaxy S6 Active feels like a faster performing phone and one that reaches new heights with battery life. Conclusion There's nothing holding back the Samsung Galaxy S6 Active. Well, there's just one actually. That's the fact that it's only exclusive to AT&T at the moment, where it can be picked up for roughly the same price as the S6 so it all boils down to design, the ultimate differentiator between them. Sure, the S6 Active is best described as an S6 with a permanent OtterBox case on it, but don't be fooled by its tough exterior, because it's a solid phone that shouldn't be overlooked. Not everyone will fancy its particular design, However, it's not every day you can make a phone call in the shower, record some underwater fun, or even accidentally drop it onto a hard surface without the fear of it breaking.